let's say we have linearly polarized light. That means all of the oscillations in the electric field are on a single plane or a single direction. So there is the axis of oscillation, and we shine this light on a polarizing filter that just so happens to be aligned with its transmission axis in the same direction. Don't draw this because we're going to change this picture in a second here. If you have light striking this filter, how much gets through? All of it. So before we reach the filter, the oscillations in the electric field are something like this. And then on the other side of the filter, we have all of those oscillations making it through. So we have this wave shape that looks like what we've seen before. Okay. And we represent those oscillations with the single left-right arrow. But if we then take the filter and we rotate so that it's like this, let's do it this way. Now there is an angle between the polarization plane, right? There's some plane uh, that the polarization is within. All the light oscillates on that plane. And that plane is no longer aligned with the axis. The transmission axis is at an angle. Because of this angle, some light gets filtered. But what exactly is the angle? Let's draw it in our picture. Here is the polarization plane. Here is the transmission axis. The angle theta is how far off they are from each other. It's the angle between the transmission axis and the polarization plane. Filtering occurs because they are not aligned. And to find how much filtering occurs, we use Malice's law. We start with the, tr the incident intensity. This is how much strikes the filter. I could put an I0 over on this side. And we multiply that intensity by cosine squared of the angle. And that gives us the intensity on the other side. I with no subscript. So these oscillations are less intense because some light got filtered. So I represents the transmitted intensity. I0 represents the incident intensity of the light striking or incident upon the screen or the filter. So take a moment, look at this part B. The I, does it represent light that is polarized or unpolarized? Well, after it passes through this filter, it will be polarized. Okay. Can you use Malice's law when the incident light, okay, where's the incident light? Here it is. What if it's unpolarized? Can we still use Malice's law? The answer is no, and here's the reason. Malice's law requires a single theta. And theta is the angle between the transmission axis and a single polarization plane. If, on the other hand, there were all directions represented, that's unpolarized light, we would have nothing to put in for theta. There's no single value. So the answer to A below, we cannot use Malice's law for polarized, unpolarized incident light. We could even add right here, this is the incident, I0 is the incident intensity of polarized light. Striking the filter. Intensity is perceived by humans to be brightness. So if you send the light through a filter and some gets filtered out, we would see that light as less intense or less bright. Malice's law here only works, we said, if the incident light is polarized. So what if that's not the case? When you're dealing with unpolarized light striking a filter, remember that all directions are represented. Half, then, would be parallel to the transmission axis. 
and the half of those oscillations, which are parallel, what happens to them? They pass right on through. They transmit through the filter. For example, if our filter is like this, and the incident light is unpolarized, we could take that unpolarized light and represent it as vertically polarized and horizontally mixed together in equal quantities. When the light strikes the filter and passes through, half of it transmits the part parallel to the axis, and the other half gets blocked. So where does it go if it's blocked? It's being absorbed, and it turns into internal energy. If you take two Polaroids, or polarizing filters, and you, you cross them, that means their transmission axes are at 90 degrees to each other. And if you have a scenario with, say, maybe a horizontally polarized filter followed by a vertically polarized, how much light can make it through? The answer is none. This filter blocks anything that's oscillating uh, vertically. This filter blocks anything oscillating horizontally and so nothing can make it out. 